Just like last week, we are going to begin our lesson with the five reminders. For this warm-up, make sure you have a space that you can stand up and stretch. Okay, let's get started. Begin with a reminder for our body. Take a nice, deep stretch, rolling all the way up. Next, we're reminded that an actor uses their voice, so let's do a little bit of humming. Next is a reminder to use our imaginations. Close your eyes and let your imagination take you on a journey wherever you like. Open your eyes. Next is concentration. Pick a focal point across the room and let's lock in on just that. Very good. And finally, a reminder that we use cooperation. Let's imagine our partners there next to us. Hello everyone, Mr. Evans here. Uh, so welcome back to our second theater video lesson. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed getting to do the pantomime activities from our first lesson. And a big thank you to those that were able to go on Flipgrid and record their performance. I think it's really important that we get to see the work that we are doing, uh, so make sure you get to share those. And it's never too late. You can always go back and add a video, even if we've already passed that lesson. So today we are going to be using a different one of our actor's tools, and this is our voice. Now, a voice is such an important tool in creating characters and telling stories. It's a way that we can show a character's personality. We can show what a character's going through and what they're feeling. Now, there's a lot of different ways that we can change the expression of our voice. One of those ways is volume. I can make my voice very, very quiet. Or I can make my voice loud. You can change the speed of your voice. You can be someone that speaks very, very quickly. Or maybe you are someone who takes their time and speaks slowly. You can also change the pitch of your voice. Maybe your voice is pitched very, very high and it sounds really squeaky like this. Or maybe you have a big, low voice. Uh, there's lots of different ways that we can change it. So today we are going to be working with a very simple script. Uh, some of you may remember these. Uh, these are the stories of Milo and Murphy. This story is called It's a Bee. Now, uh, our characters Milo and Murphy Murphy is a dog. He's very uh, energetic, he's exuberant, he loves food, and he's always getting himself into trouble. And Milo, Milo the cat is very calm, very smart and collected, and Milo is always looking after their best friend Murphy. So what we are going to do, I'm going to read through the script twice. The first time I read it, I will be the character Murphy, and you will be reading Milo. I'd like for you to read these aloud with me. I will read nice and slow, and I will leave a gap for you to fill in your lines. And then the second time we do it, we are going to switch. You will be Murphy, and I will be Milo. So, using our voice and using what we know about these characters, I want you to try and bring these characters to life and use as much expression as you can. Okay, are you ready to begin? All right, it's a B. Look out, Milo, look out! I can't! A bee is chasing me! It's not behind me? Look behind me! Oh, thank goodness. Isn't everybody? I mean, they have stingers, and the stingers sting! No way. Of course, I love honey. I love honey in sandwiches, and I love honey in candy, and I love honey in me. What? No way. So? Hmm. I'll try my best. Really, I will. Look out! The bee is back! Run! Run like the wind! Run, Milo! Very good. Okay, let's go through our story again. And this time we are going to change characters. I will be reading uh, Milo, and I'd like for you to read the character Murphy. Okay, let's begin. It's a bee. Whoa, whoa, slow down. I don't see a bee. Calm down. Calm down. I don't see it. 
I didn't know you were afraid of bees. That's true, but bees are actually really good to have around. Yes. Do you like honey? Well, bees make honey. Yes, they also pollinate flowers and seeds. But if they didn't, fruit and vegetables wouldn't taste very good. Try not to be afraid of them. There you go. Good for you. Oh, Murphy. All right. So, for our lesson, uh, I would like you to go back to Flipgrid, and if you can, I would like for you to record reading this script as either Milo or Murphy. You can read it along with my recordings, or if you have a sibling or a parent or guardian who can read along with you, that is even better. All right, when you do these, please make sure that you are using as much vocal expression as you can. We really want to bring these characters to life. Okay, I hope everyone is well, and I will see you all next week. Bye-bye for now.